Good morning, folks. Please stick around to the end today for a few updates. Out of the darkness, into the light, five solar tornadoes dance across the eastern limb of our star. They are entering the earth-facing side of the sun and immediately become one of the primary eruption threats. In the gamma spectrum, we took a Christmas burst from near the Lynx constellation. In the X-ray spectrum, the solar flaring was very low facing Earth, although we can assume from the ejecta that the departing groups have continued to fire away. None of those are Earth-directed. The new sunspot group is getting itself magnetically mixed around, but it is departing the disk, so flare chances diminish. The other southern sunspot group will actually get a gamma class today, with positive umbra split astride a red negative central corridor. Eyes open. Three days of solar wind telemetry show the waning speed and plasma temperature from the earlier CME impacts, but density began rising by a factor of five yesterday afternoon. It once again threw a major right hook at the electron flux and the magnetometer, showing the increases in pressure, and some instability has returned to our magnetic shield. As the northern coronal hole departs the disk, Remember that a trans-equatorial negative opening is next. The earthquakes should follow. A couple days away. We're at Harvard Chandra site in optical, in infrared, in x-ray, and all put together to find one of the most massive objects we know. It's an interesting story and it's linked for you below this video. Also folks, the third and final chapter of Skyception is published. This is all about sky spraying, geoengineering, and it's what I've been waiting for because all the loony theories and the off-handle irrationality that hinders our opposition to weather modification is laid out and well dealt with. Why do they spray, and what clues can we take from other disciplines to make conclusions about aerosol spraying? Our observer community even got a shout out from the author, Morpheus, who has asked to remain anonymous for now. Click the links below this video. We're watching Kate developing into a cyclone and headed into nowhere in the Indian Ocean, waiting for development to the north. In North America, we see a powerful central low. Looking just at the U.S. wind map, we see how opposed these air masses are and also why the temperature delta looks like this. The warm air pulled up the east will make for rain and thunder, while the cooler air north and around the western side will bring the snowstorms, again forecast to be pretty bad. In Europe, we've got storm remnants in central and eastern nations while two more systems approach from the west. Those systems bring tonight's top warnings as you can see here in purple. Down under, are we starting to see the pattern here? Air masses collide and that's where your cloud lines pop. That's where the worst weather can be found. New Zealand should be marked there too, in my opinion. Folks, I've mentioned the Conscious Life Expo before. Thousands of awake individuals in one place every February. In addition to the lectures and workshops, we got placed on the George Norrie Science Forum, a premier event with Wilcock, Nassim, Greg Braden, and more. I'll also be on the conspiracy panel later that day. And, of course, I'm still slated to give the free lecture and two workshops. The expo is only about 40 days away, and I really hope to see many of you guys out in Los Angeles for that one. All links are found right below this video. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.